Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Mech Armada. It is a turn-based tactical roguelike featuring mechs. I know there's like dozens of parts. I want to say there's like 75 or something silly like that per slot, or is it just like overall mechs that you can pull in? I'm not sure. Either way, it's a it's a strategic roguelike where you use teams of mechs to fight various monsters and reach the end. I haven't played it yet. This is going in totally blind, but before we go... I want to thank Line Code Games and, uh, let's see, got to get the right person, Vicarious PR, there we go, for sponsoring this video. Uh, so, with that, usual disclaimers, these are my opinions, but they did pay me to do this video and this stream segment. At least for the first bit, only the first episode, after that it's, it's more than that. Okay, cool, yeah, nothing else to say on this one, Swarm Invasion confirmed worldwide. Number of casualties exceed did 1 million globally, oh, hi. Where they came from. They're extremely ruthless. So many people dead. Families. We killed thousands. Millions. Then they ran out of bullets, and they kept coming. I didn't sleep for over two decades, looking for an answer. They called me crazy. They were happy hiding in their holes. But this is going to work. I thought they actually did My a really good job modeling his face. molecular nanotechnology can spawn giant robots out of pure energy. I need your help now. Someone has to control this thing. We're going to keep sending out mechs until we win. And we will win. Like, the lip sync ain't, ain't quite there. But normally when I see, like, a real human face thing... Uh, ah, yes. I'm going to show you how to operate the Mech Armada. Left-click on your mech and advance to the energy tile using left-click again. We're done for now. The system will reveal the swarm's move and attack range when you left-click. It's time to test out your weapons. Let's show them what we can do. Select your mech, activate the weapon under actions, and select the swarm to fire. This is the key. You... They take a turn to power up. <laughs> I'm just ah, skipping yes. through this tutorial keep an real eye quick. On the energy cost. It increases each time you spawn the same mech parts. Okay. Ah, excellent. It works. That indicator predicts what the swarm will do. They'll go after that mech next turn, unless you do something about it. Okay, there we go. I, I kind oh, I have to stand on the battery pad to gain more power. Because how many, how much power do I have currently? 3 out of 15. So if I'm standing here, maybe it gets me 2 energy on a per round basis. Not that it really matters at all. Alright, there we go. I appreciate that it didn't m force me to listen to the whole Perfect. thing. Perfect. Well oh. done. This is the Mech Armada Control Center. After each battle, you'll collect energy points and engineering credits. Use the credits to improve your mechs by developing new parts. Go to engineering now and select a new weapon. All right, so we can get a minigun or a missile pod. Mini missile pod or minigun. Missile pod does six damage. This is three times three to five. This is cheaper. But the amount of damage isn't quite three times as much. I'm going to go for it anyway. Good choice. Now, let's equip it so we can use it in battle. Go back to mechs, select a blueprint, and you can swap weapons. Looks, li looks like it can also upgrade things. Okay. So this guy has... Parts in use. Double, double. Two times... Two to five, or just regular mini. So minigun. here you can mix and match parts. Be mindful; each part is different. Ah, yes, and remember this: blueprints are not the same as mechs. You'll have to use energy to spawn mechs in the field, and changes to blueprints won't change your real mechs. You can do this. Let's show them what the mech armada can do. My big fear is the spawn nine. 
spawn eight. I wonder if we only have so much power in a given... There we go. I'm going to just give this thing the minigun for the time being. And so I could do some more stuff. We could also upgrade something. Do any of these reduce their cost? Once per turn, refund one movement after actions or more health. Looks like this mostly just ups the damage. All right, battle? Hmm, interesting. That kind of energy gets sent to the control center immediately. So we keep it even if we lose all the mechs. We can use it for improvements. I'll call it meta energy. You'll need to get to it before the swarm does. All right, very smooth. All right, I want to go back and compliment that face, seeing as I was compliment trying to compliment it earlier. Um, ah, yes. If you make a mistake moving, you can undo it. However, you can't undo actions. Okay, I want to hold the energy thing. Okay. I'm going to summon another one of these suckers. Because this guy doesn't do as much damage. But his goal isn't to do as much damage. Okay, I guess we'll grab the meta energy. Just so we don't have to worry about it. Alright, there Hold we go. On. See that fog coming toward you? It's getting closer every turn you take, and it appears to be sentient. I'd advise staying away from it. Okay, so the minigun has tons of range. Way more than I thought it was going to have. Question mark? There we go. They dead. I should turn down the sound effects a little bit. Okay, so I really have to hustle here. I can't just go slow. Alright, settings, the usual, turn sound effects down like a fair bit because... I look, I don't know, I just when it comes down to it, I'm not a sound effects kind of guy. Alright. So, develop transport, develop body, develop weapon. I only have so many chips, otherwise we could upgrade some more things. Some more HP, more HP. Oh. Or... I could just spawn in. So, I can make new mechs, but I can can keep just uh, upgrading the ones that I already have. Which is kind of tempting. Let's see. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna just spawn another mech. Let's just go. The more of these suckers that I've got in play... I'm not going to say the better, but it doesn't say... Oh, I see. I can only I can only have five. But it looks like if any of them die, that's not the end of the world. I can just get more. I thought you didn't upgrade the ones in the field. Only the blueprints. You're right. So this guy, for example, has the minigun. So to some degree, what I want to do is actually sacrifice... There we go. I want to actually sacrifice... ...the ones I can't afford to lose. Oh, undo move. Undo move. I think I just gotta kill it. I can't get the meta currency. We're not fast enough. I wanted the meta currency, but it wasn't gonna let me. Not without losing all my dudes. Okay, could get more of that. So 
So I got 15 ships here. Do we upgrade the double double? Do we get a new weapon? Let's develop a new weapon. Airstrike. Or a damage gun. Range buff damage. I like the idea of airstrike. Now, oh, back. Upgrades. So that increases the damage fairly tremendously. I could upgrade the double double, but that only improves the damage a smidge. Let's see, movement two, movement two. So I could make I can make the little tanks way tougher. After developing an upgrade, you can apply it to existing mechs for a small energy cost. Oh. How? It says available parts. Did I... Did I... Do it? It says I can. I have no idea. I don't know. I'll just spawn a new, new one in, in... Oh, here we go. Apply upgrades. Okay. How far can these guys move? Decently far. He can't do anything. All right, Wrecker does 8 damage. We have a lot more HP, though. So, first question. Summon another. I move back here. I see. Undo move. Oh, it had armor. Or we just didn't do any damage. I move f further on roads. All right. Well, on the plus side, to get that, let's grab the meta energy, because frankly, that's a thousand times more valuable here. No armor, why? Oh, this guy still has the machine gun. I thought I upgraded him. I guess it didn't. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna let this one die. We're just gonna... We're just gonna hold this and replace with something better. Okay. Do a bunch of damage. Move here. Minigun 2.0. Shreds it. There we go. That's the big guns. I'm getting it. Get a lot of energy for everything. All right. Engineering available. Um. Do I want to just get some new parts? Mini jet flies over tiles. I'm going to grab the mini jet, actually. Okay, and we have a boss fight. Oh, he's a big sucker. I'm 
I'm just gonna head for the meta currency. Nothing else matters. I'd have to move forward to get a get him. Oh, that can charge in straight lines. Okay. Action if available. Do nothing. I'm not quite ready for a boss fight. Grab the meta energy. So we can shoot this guy. Okay, and if I move this guy forward to body block, we might kill him. He's probably gonna kill this guy though. Yeah, total, total damage. Pretty much nothing I can do on that one. Kill his goon. And I shoot him from here. Because I think we're just out of range. No, you fool! Well, that certainly puts me in a pickle. Okay, let's move here. Doesn't look like I can move over that other one. We can kill the boss, though. Nope! We can't kill the boss. Ouch. It's fine. Humanity is counting on us. We have to go again. Okay, so meta energy three. And we got some keys. Looks like keys unlocks new parts for us. Here we go. So improvements. Energy storage generator. Well, can't get that. Starting mechs. Unlock parts. Swarm. Parts list. So I need to do way better than I did. But that's fine. Uh, let's see. Transformer. Reverse transformer. Starting credit. Starting energy. Boy. New run. All right. And... Battle? Just summon the dinky little mech, too. So it looks like you can potentially start... with... more. But mostly... And way more importantly... Okay, can I move this guy over here? That way this guy can get up closer. Oh, there's meta currency on the other side. There we go. So what kind of, kind of game is this? It's a tactical roguelike. Is four damage. I'm just gonna wait. He'll probably die, but it, he'll earn his keep. I think he's only worth two. There we go. My energy. It fine. Grab that. Now we've got two of these guys. 
So it looks like the more mechs I deploy on a round, the more energy it costs. However, the price goes back down if my dudes die. That makes sense. So Battletech meets FTL? Yeah, kind of. I actually didn't realize this was a roguelike uh, until like a couple weeks ago. And I was like, oh shoot, I should have been playing the demos for this. Alright, so we could develop a new weapon or we could just upgrade the double-double. The double-double is garbage. Let's develop a new weapon. Damage gun or medic drone. Spawn a repair drone. Flies over tiles. Interesting. Mine launcher or airstrike. Okay, so medic drone. Flies over tiles and units. Cannot move to next battle. Heals 10. Interesting. And kind of limiting. I'm just going to upgrade the double-double for the time being. Okay. Apply upgrades. And battle. Okay, so we do have some meta currency over there. And we have another crew of these guys. Looks like I'm going to have to secure a fair bit of meta currency before I really get to do well in this. But honestly, it's fine. I'm looking forward to seeing what some of the uh, the goofier parts can do. There we go. Give me them sick batteries. What are we doing power-wise? Nope. We're just here. They're just dying. Yeah! So it sounds like you shoot the medic drone from your mech rather than the medic drone being the mech. So possible minion build? That's what I was kind of hoping for. Okay, develop a new body. Maximus. Two weapon slots. All parts are upgraded. Or adjacent swarm receives bonus damage from attacks. Mischief. So definitely minion build. I like the idea of Maximus. Okay, Max. Go back to you. What if I do Maximus? So that makes this guy way more expensive to spawn. But maybe that's not a problem. Okay, upgrades. Uh, I can't afford upgrade on anything. Ooh, upgrading that though. Kind of worth it. Alright, do we spawn in a Maximus? There we go. Battle. There we go. Wow, he went from uh, kind of nothing to something. How much do I think I'm going to take damage here? Oh, does that machine gun only have a range of one? Oh, that's garbage. Oh, this isn't going to work. Right for me in the slightest. Okay, let's have this guy go here. This guy go here. 
just gotta go here. I doubt I'm gonna get the energy for being on it. It'd be nice if we got the bonus energy for ending a mission on that tile. But who knows? Okay, could develop some stuff, could upgrade something. The airstrike isn't quite as good as I was hoping it would be. Okay, we've upgraded the Maximus. So he is even tankier. Can I repair this? Not comfortably, no. We'll just have to wait. Ooh. Bunch of bonus energy. I'm just going to have this guy sit the battery. Unfortunately, I don't have enough uh, energy capacity to even spawn another Maximus. Okay. So they can just do that. Rude. Let's see. Should be enough. Right, so we're probably going to lose the Maximus here. But that's kind of fine. We'll just get another one. Like immediately. Or it just... They die. Uh, you know what? It's fine. I want to get a different gun. You know, let's get a new gun. Energy shield. <sighs> okay. He is a costly sucker to spawn. Don't want to give him the double-double. No. I think this is fine. Boss fight. Okay. There we go. It'll kind of be fine. Energy shield. And if I just aim right there. No biggie. Oh, but I can't undo this guy? Oh, shoot. Can't do undo actions. This crawler has way longer range than I thought it was going to. Alright. Oh, that sucks. Do we? Shields up. All right. He's working. We can go back here. Giving this guy the energy shield was, like, the smartest thing I have done so far. This fireboy is going to kill itself. 
And Biggin's not going to do enough damage to take him out. Unfortunately, he's probably going to move. I might want to grab the medic drone. Alright. All mechs resist buffs or gain one extra damage. Uh, resisting debuffs is tempting, but the extra damage is really good. Kind of? Let's see, it looks like you can already bring more mech blueprints into battle as well. I was assuming that you could only have one each. Yeah, let's go with resist debuffs. Yeah, here's the question. Needs transport. Yeah, so here's the issue. Uh, if I take it off of one... Oh, that's interesting. You don't actually even have to have a body. If you take it off of one, it can't go on the other. Oh, you can use a part multiple times, but it increases cost. You sure? Uh, let's see. Do I want to give him the machine gun? I was digging the airstrike, but that's very limited in what I can do. I don't actually... I don't know if I like the airstrike that much. No. What you mean here is the spawn three times two. So, when it says three times two, it means... The more mechs that I have with that part in play, that increases the cost. But that's a different dealio in entirely. Okay. Spawns really expensive. Need a medic? I like lose the legs. Can I just have legs and medic drone? No. I need I need something. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so I could get a new thing. It tempting? Realistically, I probably need another body. E either another body or more legs. Gambler. Always roll max damage or defend. I'm going to go get the defender core. Because we can switch the Maximus body out. All parts are upgraded. Oh, so we should be giving... <laughs> Look at this beautiful creature. Look at this boy. Look at this beefy boy. Okay, um... So realistically, we should keep the Maximus as is, at least for now. Kind kind of? How many chips do I have left? Because what I really want to do is upgrade the, uh, the shield. Because <sighs> if I can put the shield on the knight body, where extra armor after being attacked, the, I... Could see that turning the defender into an absolute tank. But we can't get that yet. Alright. I'm gonna get... Uh, do we get rid of the medic drone? He's expensive. That's the big issue. If I lose these guys, I'm I'm going to be in a sad place. All right, I'm buying this game. This is amazing. It's super good. All right. Well, need a medic. 
All right, so we've got a lot of energy. Start by spawning. Um, start by spawning the medic drone. Medic drone, repair him. Because that's going to save me a lot of grief, especially if this guy can just sit here tanking forever. Uh, let's see. Okay, I don't... Evolve. I'm just going to shield up. We got to get some more juice. Okay, we can resist the damage. Oh, he did evolve. Okay, you go over there. I'm gonna try and get the extra energy. I'm so glad I have extra weapon slots. Grab that extra power. And yeah, now that I have Medic Bot, this guy cannot die, kind of. Yes! It's so good! Okay, so here's the immediate problem. I don't think I'm gonna get the Meta Currency, unfortunately. Not quite fast enough. Wait. Ah. Oh. Free power. I really wish I'd gotten that, but it's fine. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we want to save up for upgrades. I mean, upgrading the mini tracks is not the worst idea. I'm probably just going to wait. These guys are more than solid. Okay, let's take a look at this. Alright, should be good. Perfect. Now, these guys look kind of tanky. I got a couple of questions here. Move this guy here, move this guy here. We're gonna repair this one, not that it's at all useful. I'm gonna see if I can sit the medic drone on this. Oh. I guess I kind of missed it fine. Oh, Scourge Egg, evolve. Yeah, it counts. Okay, so we get rid of that critter. We get rid of that guy. How are we doing on power? We flee. Don't you hit my mech bot! Don't hit my heel, son! Rude. He hit heel, son. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Something's gonna be hitting me. See if we can shoot this guy. I definitely could use some more weapons. Something to give to him would be a good good move. There we go. This is the stuff. Alright, so engineering, I could get more stuff. 
I think I want to wait. So the one problem is the airstrike is not the most reliable of guns, nor does it actually do that much damage, so I probably want another weapon. Yeah, actually, let's just get a new weapon. Uh, zapper. Stun. But, like, no damage. Or a gunner drone. Whee! Alright, here's the plan. Take this off, give him the gunner drone. Bam! <laughs> you may call me mother. Alright, let's... Let's get rid of the airstrike because it's not actually that good. There we go. Perfect. So now we've got Mother who just comes with drone friends. And then uh let's see, I gotta I gotta name this guy Chumbus. There we go. And then Chumbus who just tanks and dangages. Alright. Uh let's see, continue. Okay. Now Tragically, it doesn't look like it can update either of these guys. Oh, because I na changed their names. I changed their names. Well, I'll just make this work or something. I don't think that's going to work. Okay. So this guy can move two forward. We don't need any power. I might actually just let them come to me. Let's see if he does it. Yep. Oh, but they evolved. Well, this could go badly for me. We'll see what happens. No, oh, yellow boy. Okay, go with that. Spawn another medic drone. At this point, Medic Sun is mostly just a distraction. Which is just kind of embarrassing, to be honest. Okay. It's fine. We've got plenty of energy. And it kills itself. Hooray! Okay, so I could upgrade something, and I probably should. Because, yeah, these guys might actually just be too expensive. All right, fine. A turret or a spider. Oh, moves diagonally. I love the idea of the turret. <laughs> okay, mechs, new. So we want the turret with the body and the gunner drone. Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> Alright, and it's cheap to spawn. Perfect.
All right. We. <laughs> it doesn't need to be fancy. All right, so what the hell are these? Oh, hatchery. It spawns dudes. Understandable. Oh, I'm going to even have enough energy potentially after this to uh, to spawn another turret. Mother is missing a son. It's fine. Mother diversified. Oh, well, that didn't do a whole lot of damage now, did it? Oh, well. It is dead. Okay, there we go. So after this, we should get enough energy that I can get another turret. That didn't kill itself. Summon turret, buddy. Honestly, they'll just hang there, I guess. Um... If I do this, airstrike here. You move there. I guess I'll just move the turret there. We must protect heal friend, but mostly just more shields. Oop. Hell yeah, heavy artillery. Alright. Spawn gunner drone. Frustratingly, can't do much right now. Luckily, I have unending firepower. Wait, can I just spawn another one of these? They let me do that? Unleash the swarm! <laughs> Oh, that's really good. Oh no, you killed one of my babbies. Whatever will I do? I don't know. Heavy artillery, maybe. Goodbye, sir. Oh, we're not done yet. That fine. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> I was... Whenever I play a new roguelike, I'm always worried, you know, it's like, are they going to have enough cheese to keep this game interesting? Or is it going to be one of those that it's, like, you know, not really good enough? And, you know, it's like, you want to play more, but not really. And then we've got this. Then we're good. We're happy. Oh. How much would it cost for me to spawn in another one of these suckers? 20. Ugh. Well, I could get another leg. Tank, walker. Oh, tank. Okay. I guess I'll new do a new design. Sure. Actually, back? Yeah. Yeah, this was a good idea. Okay, scoop forward. 
Shields up. Gun there. Get that. Um, how far can this guy move? Not perfect. Oh, action available. That one's fine. Do we sacrifice this one? Nah. Okay. If I move here, target that. Um. Oh, we're gonna take a hit from this, aren't I? Aren't we? Yo, yeah, whatever. I have my own healing. How bad can it be? How bad will it be? Ow. Ow. My turret buddies. Well, that was kind of expensive. Did I at least get the meta currency? I think I did. Okay. Shields up. I'm just going to assume he's going to end up there. Maybe. Nope. I was wrong. He'll kill himself, though. On me. I'm not used to that. Oh, he did. I could try and do like a valiant rescue. But it's fine. I mean, realistically, I'm not going to say that nothing matters, but... Nothing matters. Tank boy's in the house. Oh, well, that's convenient. Uh, let's see. Can you make it there? Nah. I'm gonna bet it ends up here, here. I was wrong. Let's see. Do we summon a friend? No. We get a medic. Oh. Who cares? Action available. Oh, he did hit me. That whole mech prediction thing was a lie. Oh, well. Whoop. Well, this is great. Okay, all mechs recover their health before the next mission, or all uh, walkers can move diagonally. I go for pristine, but there's not really a whole lot of point for it, so let's go with articulations. Cool. So I should probably mention uh, here now, armor gun. Buff, give armor. Or just a machine gun. They're bad. Why did I choose to do any of this? I guess I'll grab the armor gun. I should have saved for an upgrade. I wasn't thinking. Oh, well, it's fine. Uh, I'm getting another one of these guys. I should safeguard them better, but I didn't. Okay. Uh, 
well, this run's going to keep going, but I should probably mention this is a really good stopping point, at least for the first episode on YouTube. Uh, so we're not going anywhere. I will finish this run. Uh, but they asked for one video, and then I'm going to give them more because this game is fun. Uh, but so Mech Armor Armada will be launching in Steam Early Access tomorrow uh, for... I don't actually know if there's a price tag on it yet. I guess we'll have to find out tomorrow then. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be launching on on Steam Early Access tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to be on any other platforms yet. No, I think it's just Steam for now. Uh, but this has been a ton of fun, and I really, really like seeing all the different parts available already and what I can do with them. I mean, the fact that I have kind of a tank machine that just cannot die and sits there and blocks. It works so good. Or so good, so well. Ah, it works really well, and I, I can't wait to see what kind of weird, cheesy business I can get up to with different mech builds. Like, what if I had two shield arms? If I could get two of those. What if I had an infinite amount of gun drones that I'm just spitting out endlessly? We will see. Especially once we get to leverage more of the meta progression. But for now, uh, for those of you on YouTube, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because, yeah, this is going to be a, a series, it's going to be a something, I'm going to play more of this for sure. But for now, uh, I guess one last thank you to Vicarious PR and Lion Code Games for sponsoring this video, thank you all so much for watching.